Drawings explain how to build things, and text in drawings explains the parts that make up the drawings, such as the dimensions you see here. Sometimes text is used with leader lines to explain the parts of a drawing. And a drawing can have many types of text. Here, for example, we see a table. Here are balloons, which indicate notes elsewhere in the drawing, along with title blocks, notes, and dimensions. When you receive a drawing with text in it, you can modify it. Text is sometimes known as annotation, and that's why in NanoCAD you click on the Annotate tab. Over here is the various commands related to text. So if you select the text, you can see that it has a style by the name of Roman S, which you can change by selecting a different style. The styles define in NanoCAD what the text looks like, and we'll get into that in another tutorial. Here's the height of the text, and so if I were to change that to 5 30 seconds of an inch, press Enter, the text gets taller. If you want to edit the wording of the text, click on the Edit Text button, and you can now go in and change the wording or remove words. To make sure there are no spelling mistakes in a drawing, click on the Spell button. Over here, a palette opens up. Click the button to start the spell check. After a few moments, you see a list of words. NanoCAD calls it mistakes, but in reality, these are words that it did not recognize. You can scroll through the list to see if there are any spelling mistakes. For example, Steeler. Well, to find out what Steeler means, click on it, and NanoCAD automatically zooms and highlights the word so that you can see it in context. In this case, Steeler is the name of the manufacturer. If you actually wanted to change the spelling, you can either type in a new word here, or else scroll down the list of words that NanoCAD came up with and choose one of them. If you don't want to change it, but don't want it being seen as a misspelled word, click Add Word to Dictionary, and it's no longer a misspelling. Click the X in the corner to close the spell checker. Let me show you a couple other things that you can do with changing text around. I select this text here, for example, and then click this button. It changes the case of the text. So I'll click the button, and now you can see the options. A sentence case means that the first letter is uppercase, the rest are lowercase. Title case means that the first letter of every word is capitalized. So let's choose that option. This button lets you change the overall width of the text and the angle it's at. And this can make it useful for making it fit into tight spaces. So I'm going to select it. It asks me for a text. I select the text and as I move it back and forth you can see the text gets wider and narrower and changes its angle. Let me pop it right there. And then the last one I want to show you. I click this little down arrow shows me additional options for the text panel and I'm going to select contour text and what it does is it turns all text into blank rectangles. And sometimes you might find a use for this. It's left over from the old days when computers were pretty slow and it took them a long time to display text or print it with a plotter. Choose the command a second time to turn the text back on.